Hey, what's up everybody? My name is TrophyNet and welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. Today we're gonna do Lexi's quest, so the doctor's quest. Uh, and I think she, well, she wants uh, a word with us, but I think she kind of has a drinking problem. Because the quest actually is called The Bottom of the Bottle. Um, where is she exactly? Is she in the bar? She must be in the bar, probably. That would be fitting if she's uh, having a drink. Lexi, are you... Is she that over there in the corner? I think it is. Hello, Lexi. Ooh, she's there looking not so happy. Looking for the meaning of life? Poetry. At the bottom of a bottle? There we go. It's a... The crew is a bit worried about you, Lexi. We didn't leave a note. We were worried. Well, as you see, I'm fine. Uh-huh. What? I can't kick back? Have fun? Oh, you're not fooling anyone. Lexi, you haven't touched that bottle. Because you interrupted me. What's this really about? PB thinks I don't care about the crew. That you're all just experiments to me. Do you... Is that how you think I see you? Um... Hmm. She does seem a bit frigid at times, but... Um... Why do you care? Since when do you care what PB thinks? It's not the first time someone told me that. In fact, every one of my exes said something similar. Hence why I'm taking a break from relationships. <sighs> you didn't answer my question. Is that how you think I see you? Let's be friendly for now. You wouldn't be moping in this bar if you only saw me as an experiment. I don't mope, but you're right. <sighs> Thank you, Ryder. I should get back. What about your wine? I'll save it for another day. Okay then, that was rather quickly done. Complete, apparently. Uh, and Liam is here as well. Hello, Liam. What do you want? Things are shaping up, Pathfinder. Resources flowing in, sleep is ready to head out. It's starting to feel like the initiative. Not quite up to the sales pitch, but getting there. Feels good, right? Yeah, like a new beginning. I feel it, Liam. Finally getting our start. There we go. Getting our shit together. Showing the new galaxy that we have it sorted. If I keep saying it, it's true, right? Okay, yeah, it might be true. Um, she... Bartender seems to need my attention as well. Hey, I was wondering if you could help me out. It's for the good of the bar. Sure, why not? Lay it on me. So, folks try and help and all, but we have a limited pool of ingredients. Keep an eye out for anything interesting we could use for new drinks, and we'll let you test them for free. Great, maybe right. put your hands out of your pants the there. Testing will be interesting. Don't worry, Dutch may complain a lot, but he's loving it. And he's the best chemist I know. You're in good hands. Okay, search for supplies in the Hyperion Atrium, Kadara, and Havaral. Fair enough. Uh, I think. Next up, I think I still can do the poker game for Jill or Gil on the Nexus as well. So let's head over there. He's actually also in the bar. Kind of missed him there then. If the bar would even open. Uh, oh, he's over there in the corner at the table. Obviously, if he wants to play poker. Hello, Gil. So, Ryder, big news. I think I found my purpose in life. Oh, yeah? What's that? Uh, thrashing you at poker? Shall I deal? Ryder, I can read Gil's vital signs and give you an advantage during the game if you like. Um, <laughs> no, let's not cheat on this one. Don't. All right, you can deal first. Having fun? Getting my ass kicked is what I'm doing. Poker's lost me several friends over the years. The only one who still plays me is my buddy Jill. I, I know, I know, Jill and Gil. <laughs> okay, who is she? Who's Jill? She's here in Andromeda? Yep. Been awake since the start. Jill's a fertility expert. Heads the initiative CRC. My only real friend from back home. I bet 50. I call. The CRC? Colonial Repopulation Committee. She's always teasing that I'm making her job harder. Says if I'm not making babies, I'm part of the problem. We have that kind of relationship. <laughs> okay. Growing our numbers is paramount to our survival here. Sure, but that's Jill's purpose. I'm not just going to adopt it. Fair enough. See what I did there? I'm not just going to adopt it. 
But the I saw. You should meet her. You'll see. She's amazing. Another hundred. Ah, uh, I fold. What's the Another giant me, box in the middle? Well, that's that. You win. You don't need I've a box for uh, life. <laughs> poker, but hey. What will I do now? Ah, uh, good game. Congratulations. Good game. You two. Jill predicted you'd be my downfall. Can't wait to tell her she was wrong. Another streak intact, I'll say. Ouch. Have fun. And thanks for the game. Can we meet Jill? No? Is that it? Okay then, these... Well, I wouldn't even call them loyalty missions, they're just... Crew missions? Crew tidbits? That was actually almost nothing. Um... I'm gonna have to leave the Nexus then, so I guess I'll see you guys when I picked another side quest to do, because we are rinsing through these! So, we're heading to a new planet, Eladen, or something like that, I don't know exactly how you should pronounce that, but Eladen, Eladen, I don't know, it's something like that. So, uh, another planet we might be able to put an outpost on. Uh, the Turin Arc is also supposed to be there, and uh, I think it's populated by Krogan mostly, so uh, here we go. Towards Eladen. Okay, there we go. Then let's find us a landing spot. Looks like a pretty normal planet to me. Sam, send Kalo the nav point provided by our Krogan contact. Okay, Kalo. We're landing on Eladin to rendezvous with Jorgal Strux. On my way. So I'm taking Drac and Vetra for obvious reasons. So Vetra for the Turian arc. And Drac, of course, because uh, our contacts are Krogan. And a very old Krogan on our side might ease the conversation there. Here we go. Seems like a desert planet. Kind of like Eos. Where is this meeting place exactly? Called the Paradise. Middle of nowhere, as far as I can tell. Paradise is different for a Krogan. Probably. There we go through the atmosphere. Ooh, this looks pretty. Very pretty. Was that a giant? Remnant what are those? Starship. No. Those are huge. One percent exposed. I will gather what information I can, Pathfinder. Nice. Those are very big. If you compare that to the Tempest, the landing zone. Those don't really look like shacks, now, do they? It's like just a roof. There are a few vehicles over there. So this must be inhabited by the Krogan then. Doesn't really provide much protection, but it looks. Although I should be able to survive the Who atmosphere here already. The Scavengers with nothing to lose. Criminals chucked out of Kadara. Gonna be interesting. Great. Oh, heat hazard level. So yeah, it's the other way around. Can I go? Ah, when I go in the shadow, it's it's a bit cooler. So visit the paradise. Investigate the anomaly. Beautiful, isn't it? I remember the first time I saw this place, I thought, wow, this is home. I wasn't the only one. So, forward station. Should be over there somewhere. There are humans and uh, other races here as well. Just gonna take a look around for starters. Uh, there's a higher area over there, but I'm first gonna put down the forward uh, station. Automated protocols activated. There we go. Deploying forward station. Just something I want to do. Bloop. Thank you. Should increase viability a bit. There we go. Now let's Mining see. Mining zones in this region are available, Pathfinder. I've added them to your nav system. Discovered the paradise. Um, let's go inside. Let's see if there's anybody I can talk with. Locate a Krogan named Jorgal Strux. It's a fair exchange. 
Are you Jorgal Strux? No, you seem to be just a god. On the air? Can't talk to anybody. Well, I can't talk to a few guys here, but you know what? Oh, that's just a show. So you're an ear. That's right. And you are? Veteran X. We do business with the same people on Kadara. Ah, yes. One of the newcomers. Welcome, all of you, to my paradise. Your paradise? Outside the gates, you're on your own. But in here, you're safe. Anyone violates the peace, they have to answer to me. Something feels off. That is a, a weird... Uh... A weird message, but it must be a lot of work. Being able to maintain control here must be difficult. These people need me. They need what I sell, so they behave or they're out. Now what can I get you? How can I help? Just let me know. You know where Jorgal Strux is? I'm supposed to meet a Krogan here named Strux. Look around. If my customers have names, I don't know them. It's better that way. Okay. You have a pretty good attitude for a place like this. I've got nothing to complain about. I'm rich and no one messes with me. Most powerful woman on Elidin. Yeah. Elidin. I don't mean to brag, but absolutely. Tell me a bit more about the planet. What else is here? I'm a businesswoman, not a tour guide, but I'll tell you what I know if it suits me. Okay, let's have a little chat about the remnant ship. What can you tell me about that derelict ship? Ah, oh, you came here to get killed, did you? Scavengers are trying to pull it apart, is all I know. I don't go near their claims. They shoot on sight. Okay, what kind of scavengers? Who lives on this planet? Desperate folks, mostly. Misfits, some. Those that can't get along in the regular world. Or people willing to make a profit off that desperation. Misfits like and cretins. Careful, sweetheart. You want to keep me on your good side. I don't know There's if I want to. a place they call the Flop House. East dish of here. Den of murder and misery. You should pay it a call. Okay, what about the Krogan? You get along with the Krogan? Everyone comes to Elodin with the dream of leaving, except me and the Krogan. They built their colony into a sinkhole. Smart. Keeps it cool enough for them, I guess. They have their own water? Unfortunately for them, no. But Mordor and I get along well, so far. Okay. Morda, that's an interesting I'll name. Around. Probably the leader of that colony then. Um scavenger Jorgal Strux where are you man Rogan over here there he is there he is hello Jorgal are you Jorgal Strux maybe you who I think you are Sarah Ryder Pathfinder for the initiative you asked me to meet you here. Yeah, I did. Thanks for coming. We uh, value the Krogan. Losing the Krogan was a big deal to a lot of us in the initiative. Some of my best friends are Krogan. That's right. <laughs> I didn't want to leave the Nexus, but I needed to support my people and my clan. So, trouble at the colony? It's heading to a bad place. We can't be there anymore. Morda's become a tyrant. Did she kick you out? Hasn't come to that yet, so we're laying low. I want to keep my eye on her. She's planning a strike against the Nexus, that much we know. Ooh, um, Drac disagrees. Drac trusts Morda, and I trust Drac. Her, Morda's leading the colony for a reason. She's tough, but that's good. You're not there, Drac. Morda is going to rip this colony apart. And then we're all going to die. Krogan dying? Your homeworld's worse than this place. Everyone needs food and water, even Krogan. Morda's rationing. My group thinks the Krogan should make peace with the Nexus. Uh, that makes sense, yeah. We need the Krogan and the Krogan need us. We all came to Andromeda as one. We should at least try to fix this. Well, there won't be a colony to make peace with if Morda ruins it. You don't believe me? Go to the Krogan colony yourself and see what she's planning. Fair enough, we might actually do that. Brink. He's one of us, on the inside. If the safety of the Nexus is really on the line, I'll go. Better hope she doesn't shoot me on sight. Yeah, that'd be a bad omen. <laughs> Parlay with the Krogan. Go to the Krogan colony. Fair enough, I'm gonna do that later on. 
But first off, I want to check out that Turian, uh, that Turian signal. So maybe we can uh, find out where the Ark is. So see you guys as close as I can get in a minute. Okay. So, Elodin, charming so far. What do we got besides the sand? The remnant monolith suggests this was indeed supposed to be a golden world. It also suggests the presence of a vault. Additionally, here is the large derelict remnant ship that we saw as we landed. Hopefully abandoned. Scans indicate it is not. The site is active with scavengers and remnant bots. Here, scavengers have taken over an abandoned camp between the two. In this direction, located in one of the planet's sinkholes, is New Tachanka, the Krogan colony. Sinkholes. Sounds fun. New Tachanka. Really. Interesting Elodin name. It's tidily locked to its sister moon and that gas giant above. This side of the moon never cools. Getting trapped in a sinkhole without shelter would mean certain death, as one's blood would boil in 75 seconds. Great. That sounds and on lovely. That cheery note, let's head for the climate controlled paradise of the nomad. <laughs> Indeed, here we go. Let's get in. And I'll see you guys at that uh, anomaly. You think Kesh lied to you? Nah, she's not the type. I'm pretty sure none of us really knew what we were getting into. Bamboozled. Nice word. Yeah, I learned it from Sid. She's into some weird old human shit. Good name for a drink. The Bamboozler. <laughs> I try it. Pathfinder, we're approaching a scavenger site. I advise caution. Conversation was interesting. Oh, sinkholes. Do want to probably avoid those sinkholes. This planet is lovely. There we go. So, lost but not forget oh, forgotten. Shit. Investigate the anomaly. From Ark Natanis. Are any of them alive? It's difficult to obtain a clear reading on all pods at once. We should investigate. Why are there enemies over here? Oh, there we go. Uh, and let's get out. That was fun. Pulling out the fancy moves. Ooh. Here we go, Remy time. Running ammo. Uh, there we go. Where is he? Ooh. Ooh. There we go. Taken care of quite easily. We need to be careful with the hazard level. Ooh. They're all dead. Sam. We should have Mason's genetic profile in the initiative database. Let's check it against pods. Yeah, if the Pathfinder is actually in one of these pods, we Yeah, we can assume he's dead. Uh, scan. Tarion, but not their Pathfinder. Subject is too old. We're gonna have to get into the... This one's got power. Oh. Just checking the other ones. The Just checking the other ones really quickly. No Here we go. None of the pods match Mason Barrett. Help me get it open. Pathfinder, the body has no vitals. Uh, we were too late, but what about the pod? Sam, check the pod's history. According to the final log, this stasis pod was jettisoned from Ark Natanus. Maybe when it hit the Scourge. The timeline doesn't match. This pod was ejected long after Natanus was reported missing. Okay then. So that means there's hope. Because if it ejected past the time that was hitting the Scourge, 
Then they survived. We assumed the Ark was destroyed, but maybe it's intact. The crew could still be alive. And dumping colonists in stasis? That's worse. We should update Avatus. He'll want to know what we found. Okay, contact Avatus via the Tempest Calms. We might do that later on, but first I'm gonna head back into the Nomad. This is not the Nomad. Looks like the Nomad, but this is the Nomad. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, because first I'm gonna head towards the Krogan colony uh, over there, where the next to the big pillar with the red paint on top of it to new the Chanka. And uh, we'll start that quest off and end the episode over there. So I'll see you guys right back with the Krogan. Sid gets me so frustrated. I try to be firm. She pushes back. I lay down the law. She pushes some more. See, that's your problem. Kids need boundaries, sure. But they also want to know you're not the enemy. Our dad would not have agreed with you. Your dad sounds like a piece of work. Special ops, right? Yeah, something like that. You never went into details. Disappeared. Yeah. I know the type. Disappeared, I know the type. So Drax's father also disappeared then, I presume. Stay alert. This junk is prime for scavengers. Oh, there goes my shield. New the Chanka. Um, I think I might have to go in between here. Oh, little sinkhole. Ooh, yeah, shadow, of course, Our obviously. Stable. So, Morda's still pissed off at the Nexus. You'll want to be careful around her, kid. It's amazing they managed to set up any kind of working colony on this hellscape. Once the Krogan put their mind to something, they'll get it done. This is actually pretty big. So there's something over here as well. Wonder if I can just get out. I think he's missing the button. Well, it's triangle to get in, but not triangle to get out, which is not not really obvious. Uh, can I get in through here? Or do I need to work my way around? Oh, over there. Oh yeah, fucking great. Leaving the mission area. God damn it. I'm gonna have to take the long route around, so give me a second. Uh, I think it. there I we have the entrance to uh, New Tachanka. Anything I can scan? There we go. So let's head inside and uh, have a little chat with these guys. Because the door is closed at the moment, so. Uh, in this region are available, Pathfinder. I've added them to your nav system. I don't care, Sam. I don't care. No outsiders. She's with me, human pathfinder. Drac. It's been a while. Jorgel Strux sent me. I'm supposed to talk with Morda. So now Strux is friends with the Nexus. Traitor. Think I'm a traitor too. Shut it, Breck. Hey, we can be friends. I'm not here to step on any toes. I can help you guys out. You assume we need help. Yeah. Hey, we you do. Guys did your job. Now stand down and let them in. But Drac, didn't I tell you to shut up? I'll spread the word so Morda knows you're here. Thank you. Good. Here we go. So now that we're in, before we go to the throne room That's and talk to Morda. To to here. Okay. Wonder how long she'd last in a real fight. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And when we get back, we're gonna talk to Morda and see if we can't help out the Krogans over here. So uh thanks again, enormously for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye.